Welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. My name is Baz, and in this series we'll be going over everything about the menu scene. Pixel Game Maker allows us to create completely custom menus in our projects, but because of that, we have no pre-made menus to build from. It can also be overwhelming trying to figure it all out, so this series will break down the menu scene piece by piece. This particular video will be about the basics of the menu scene itself, for instance, we'll briefly cover how to add menus onto your scenes and then show and hide them. The remaining videos will be on how to set up and manage a simple gameplay HUD, a main menu, and other related menu things as needed. So please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay up to date. Let's get started. First off, the menu scene is located in the Scenes tab. It's created by default in any project and the scene settings cannot be changed except for adding tile sets. It also cannot be exported. So what exactly does the menu scene do? It overlays the camera with a new scene that appears on top of a normal scene. This allows for menus to remain consistent with camera movement and also lets the menu be usable on any normal scene. Also, objects on menu scenes maintain their switch and variable values, making the menu scene global in a sense. The menu scene is also capable of multiple layers. Each layer is considered a different menu. While some projects may find a use for multiple layers, a basic project could simply have two layers. I'll rename one layer Gameplay HUD, and the other I'll rename Main Menu. With the layers now established, I can place the menu objects onto them. First, I'll put my life bar object onto the gameplay HUD. Afterwards, I'll place the menu background object onto the main menu. If we play test, we can see that neither menus are showing by default. Let's fix that. We need to set up the default menu in the scene settings. I'll set the default to be the gameplay HUD. While I'm here, I will preload the main menu since I know it will be used often. Note that setting default menu and preloading menus will need to be done on every scene. Now when we playtest, the life bar object is showing, meaning the default menu was successfully loaded. Also notice that when I move around, the menu layer stays consistent with the camera. Okay, we have set up our menu layers, now how do we show and remove them? We do this through the runtime actions Show Menu Screen and Hide Menu Screen. I go into these runtime actions fully in another video, so I'll just show an example here. I have an object named Menu Caller. When I press Start, it uses Show Menu Screen to display Main Menu. When I press Select, it uses Hide Menu Screen to remove all menus except the default. I need to place this Menu Caller in a scene that will always be active. I'll put it on my gameplay HUD layer. The reason for this is that even when the main menu is shown, the gameplay HUD layer will still be active in the background, meaning my inputs will still be recognized. Now in our playtest we can show our new main menu by pressing start, and hitting select will remove it. One last detail we need for a true menu experience is for the game to pause when you go in the menu. First we'll set up the pause. In the show menu state, we will add runtime action, change game speed. I'll have a video that goes into full detail, but for now, we want a full pause. I'll change the game speed to 0% and click on no time limit. I want this to affect everything but the menu related targets. This means all objects. Before we play test, I'll set up the unpause. In the hide menu, I'll also add change game speed. This time, I'll have the game speed resume 100% with no time limit. And again, we want this to affect everything but menu-related objects. Now let's play test. And there we have it, a full main menu loop. So that does it for this tutorial. This was just the basics of what the menu scene can do. In the next videos, we'll go over setting up basic logics for various menu systems. So if you haven't already liked, subscribe, please do so to stay updated. Feel free to ask questions or let me know how you're doing in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you at the next video.